Fears car registration premiums could soar and a major government department could close have hampered Tom Koutsantonis' efforts to sell his first budget. The Treasurer stands by his costings, but black holes and broken promises have dogged his sales pitch. Doing the rounds to sell a budget that isn't garnering rave reviews for the new Treasurer. But with power comes responsibility and the opposition says Labor needs to account for a major broken promise. He said there would be no privatisation of major assets in South Australia. Well, how much uh, more major can you get than the Motor Accident Commission? The Law Society fears the sale could see rego costs rise and accident victims left undercompensated. And if we're going to bring private insurers into the market, they are less concerned about injured people and more concerned about profit and the bottom line. The bottom line for conservation groups is a budget that sees the heart ripped out of environment with spending slashed by 40%. This is not an efficiency gain for the Environment Department. This is slash and burn. But worse could be to come as the Treasurer mulls mystery plans to recoup a $330 million health shortfall. Do we completely exempt health and move on to other departments? Do we abolish the Environment Department? Oh, I really couldn't believe it when he said that. Surely that's, that's a joke. It could be another department. All I'm saying is... So why, why did you choose environment? <laughs> it just popped into my head. Business groups, though, pragmatic about a budget they say could have been much worse. It's a bit like the Australian-Holland game. We weren't going to win, but at least we wanted to get enough goals kicked. But when Business SA expressed its view on social media, it prompted a tirade from Liberal Senator Simon Birmingham, who called the lobby group an embarrassment and merely mouthed. Tension still simmering today. It's good that Simon's having his 15 minutes of fame. Um, I think a lot of people wouldn't know who Simon was. Well, I think Business SA should be honest and acknowledge that there are extra taxes for business in this budget. Simon's got to realise, as does the Liberal Party federally and locally, that we're not an arm of the Liberal Party, we're here for our members. I think the Liberal Party have forgotten who they represent and who they are, and when business is telling them this budget's good for them, I should just shut up and listen. Political reporter Tom Richardson joins us now live. Tom, are there any consolations for the Treasurer today? Well, Kate, the main one is that there's still almost four years till the next election. Tom Coots and Tonus is anticipating a return to surplus within two years, and while that forecast has been met with some derision, if the economy does improve, this budget pain could be long forgotten before Labor's forced back to the polls. The sleeper, though, could be this fire sale of the Motor Accident Commission in two years' time. If compulsory premiums do rise after that date, it will be a constant hip-pocket reminder of a broken promise that could haunt Labor for a long, long time to come, Kate. Thank you, Tom.